What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in today. Um, I'm just going to be kind of explaining my first tropical house build in The Sims 4. Um, I just got this expansion pack, Island Living, and I'm kind of just messing around with the new things and I've always wanted one of those cool houses like you see in the Maldives. I've never stayed in one before. Uh, so I'm kind of trying to make something similar to that, but I really enjoy the huge window like atrium almost looking feel to it. Um, and then I'm also just gonna be like blah blah blahing through this. So if you don't want that, feel free to click that mute button. <laughs> Um, it was important to me when I first started this, I wanted to do like two scuba diving areas so then it would be like super dope if you, cause I, I like to scuba dive and I thought it would be cool to have an entire setup area so all of that's outside and none of it really get tracks in the house. Um, as it goes on, I kind of get frustrated with two and I think I get rid of one of the scuba sets, but Anyways, that's what I'm fiddling with over there. I really like those um, off the grid showers and what was it? The tub and the toilet. I don't really use the toilet very often, but I think the tub's really cool too. I think I was trying to figure out right now how to bring the living room down so you could see like into the ocean, but I couldn't figure it out. Um, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm obviously not super fast or the most efficient. Um, I don't use all the shortcuts, so I'm still learning. So please hang in there if this is like super cringe <laughs> for you to watch right now. <laughs> I will get nothing but better. I miss the spiral staircases from the other Sim series, I don't know which one it was. Just because I feel like I never know what to do with the weird spaces my staircases leave. I was extremely tempted to make the entire upper level like completely windows so you could get sunlight throughout the entire day, but then I figured that was maybe a little ridiculous. So I want to make this into a little zen area. I love all the new carpet designs that they have in this new pack. It took me forever to decide. I wasn't quite sure what kind of feel I wanted the inside of the house to have. With the huge windows, I feel like these houses always end to go like super modern-y feel and cold, but I still wanted it very tropical and somehow not uber expensive looking, even though it kind of looks like that naturally with the windows. And the fact that in real life this house would be like fucking gajillion dollars. I try, yeah, I try to make it like cozy like the um... Mmm. Okay, okay. Reference. For mental reference. The house from 50 First Dates, you know, they're fishermen, so it's got like the fisherman vibe. It's like warm, but it's their tropical. I don't know. 
I didn't have that in mind at the time, but now that I'm looking at it, that's what I'm thinking. If they had ridiculous windows. I didn't really have a plan for this room and I didn't really know what else to put because I was just going to have a couple live there and I didn't necessarily want like a home gym because I didn't see them as those kind of people. Um, so I put a baby room. Yeah, going upstairs, confused at what I'm doing still. I ended up lightening it up a little bit. It was just a little too dark for me uh, with, with the dark wood for the floor and all the curtains. Ooh, I missed a curtain. I can see it now. All right, let's go get some Lucky Sims and throw them in here. So excited, runs into the ocean. I'd probably have the same response. Probably cry. That'd be so banging. I always wanted to what? Oh, so these are the ducks. I don't know if you saw that when I was building, but I added ducks because I absolutely love ducks. This is a special breed. They are saltwater, freshwater ducks, and they can somehow get onto that platform. This lady's naked. Because fuck it, we're in the middle of apparently nowhere, which is banging. I did a roof. I rate it like C, C plus. Here's a little scuba area with the shower. Yeah, I got rid of it, so it's just one, a little bit simpler. A little meditation yoga area over there. This is like the fish cleaning section, the duck house. Very simple entrance, and let's check out the kitchen. Oh, I gotta... what is this? Oh, mailbox. Gotta get those taxes. Here's the kids' room. A little cute, like, little reading nook. Oh goodness, just choose one. It was really hard to show the bathroom too. I don't know if there's a better way to do this. Maybe I need to go into like 
live mode? I don't know, leave a comment if you know a better way for me to take pictures of the house afterwards. Um, but anyways, the bathroom is pretty simple. It's not only a guest bathroom, but for the kid when they get older. Very serene, but also kind of like pop art deco-y a little bit with the wallpaper. Clean lines. I liked it. Big old picture of what I would assume would actually be Marilyn Monroe. Great for the kids' self-esteem, you know that. <laughs> and then of course the big living room. I like that the staircase, you know, you can look at it from outside. When you see it, it looks pretty. Um, Kind of like a centerpiece i always end up adding a bar to my houses even though i don't necessarily drink very often i just think it's very classy and i feel like with the the big stereo and in, instead of the tv it, uh, it's got a nice warm feel to it for conversation and then this is the upstairs kind of just a big hallway really a little bit of a study in the corner um beautiful underwater photography thing. I like that you can do that and that your sims can go out and take pictures. I think that's super cool. I love this wallpaper. I wish I had this wallpaper in real life. I can say that for a lot of these designs, but I'm sure all of us can. <laughs> and then this is the little outdoor zen area. I really like the idea of being able to just like uh, on the floor seating like you see more out over in uh, Asia. Um, so I kind of wanted to mimic that, something just very minimal compared to the rest of the house, I feel. So yeah, that's my house. Um, this is, like I said, my first tropical house build. So I'm going to try and learn to do some more cool building techniques. But other than that, I think it looks pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching. <laughs> Love, peace and chicken grease. Bye.